Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss the third chapter of unit 6 that is direct central impact. The theory portion of this chapter is divided into two parts. So in today's video we are going to discuss the first part which includes what is impulse, impulse momentum principle, force time diagram and some important terms used in direct central impact. Whereas the second part like what is law of conservation of momentum, coefficient of restitution and types of direct central impact that we are going to discuss in the next video. Okay. So now what is impulse? If a force acts on a body for a very short interval of time, then the product of the force and the time during which it acts is known as impulse of the force. So it is represented by the letter capital I. So simply impulse is equal to force into time. If that force is variable force, integration of F dt, right? So if a force is acting on a body for a very short interval of time, then the product of the force and the time during which it acts is known as impulse. So what is SI unit? So force is in Newton, time in second. So is Newton second or kg meter per second because Newton is nothing but kg meter per second square multiplied by second that is kg meter per second. So what is the significance of impulse? Impulse will produce change in the momentum of the body. So when a force acts on a body for a very short interval of time and that force is large enough to change the sense of motion of the body, large enough to change the momentum of the body, then that force is known as impulsive force, right? Then impulse momentum principle. So as per Newton's second law of motion, the rate of change of momentum is equal to force. That is the unbalanced or resultant force. So it is M into dv by dt is equal to F. So M into dv is equal to F into dt. Integrating when t is equal to t1 velocity is initial say u when t is equal to t2 velocity is final so putting the limits integrating and putting the limits you have m into v minus u is equal to integration of f dt that is t1 to t2 so here v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity so mv is the final momentum mass into final velocity minus m into u initial momentum so that is change in momentum final momentum minus initial momentum change in momentum is equal to so it is force into time is nothing but impulse known as impulse momentum principle change in momentum is equal to impulse so it is the application of newton's second law of motion right then force time diagram if we draw a graph by taking force on y axis and a time on x axis so the equation of this curve f is the function of time then if you find out the area under this curve area under curve of fd diagram say from t1 to t2 
So area of this under curve is equal to integration of f dt from t1 to t2. So what is this integration of f dt is nothing but impulse. So the area of ft diagram, force time diagram gives you impulse. Like area of force displacement diagram that gives you work done. Similarly, area under curve of FT diagram gives you impulse, right? Now we will see the important terms used in direct central impact. So these are the various important terms used in direct central impact. So what is impact? What do you mean by impact? Impact is nothing but collision, collision between two bodies. So it is a collision between two bodies which takes place for a very short interval of time during which each body exerts a relatively large force on the other. That is known as impact. Right? Simply it is a collision which takes place for a very short interval of time between the two bodies. So what is line of impact? See here, there are two bodies and there is an impact between the two bodies. So it is the plane of impact. So the line of impact is defined as the line which is normal or perpendicular to the plane of contact. So it is the line which is perpendicular or normal to the plane of contact is known as line of impact. It is a line normal to plane of contact. Then central impact. So during impact, if the mass centers or the center of gravities of the bodies are located on the line of impact, then it is known as central impact. Right? So during impact, the mass centers are located on the line of impact. Whereas direct impact. So during impact, if the velocities of the bodies are collinear with the line of impact. Then it is known as direct impact. So the velocities of the bodies are in the direction of line of impact. Collinear with the line of impact. Then that impact is known as direct impact. Whereas oblique impact. So it is the impact between two bodies during which the velocities of the bodies are not collinear. Then it is known as oblique impact. Body is moving with different directions, in different directions. So when there is an impact between those two bodies, that is oblique impact. If the bodies are moving along the same line, velocities are in collinear with the line of impact, that is known as direct impact. So direct central impact, impact collision between two bodies, central impact means during impact the mass centers are located on the line of impact, direct impact during impact the velocities of the bodies are in collinear with the line of impact. So direct central impact means it is the collision between two bodies during which the mass centers are located on the line of impact and the velocities of the bodies are in collinear with the line of impact. That is known as direct central impact. Then time of deformation. See, during impact, the bodies undergo change in their size and shape. So the body, bodies deform. So the time taken to deform, to change their size and shape is known as time of deformation. So after deformation, the bodies tend to regain their original shape and size, which is known as restoration. So the time taken for restoration to regain their original size and shape is known as time of restoration. Right? This deformation and restoration takes place during impact. So the time taken for deformation plus the time taken for restoration 
is known as time of impact. Means simply time of impact is equal to the time of deformation plus the time of restoration. That is the time of impact. Understood? So in the next video, we are going to see what is law of conservation of momentum, what is coefficient of restitution and what are the different types of direct central impact. Okay? Thank you.